Hey, very good Wednesday to all of you across the desert southwest. Thank you so much for choosing to be with us this afternoon. Happy hump day to all of you. Yeah, we're right smack dab in the middle of the work week, our final week of winter, although it does not feel like winter. We're in the mid to upper 80s right now throughout the viewing area. A big reason why so many people love, including myself, being down here in the desert southwest. Let's take a look outside and see what it looks like on the RV World of Yuma Skycam. We've got some heavy traffic out there. That's probably the the bad news of the day, if you're trying to get anywhere throughout Yuma, uh, plan ahead a few extra minutes because it, uh, it's going to be a little congested here and there. But as far as our skies, they're clear. We have blue skies. We get lots of sunshine and a very, very light breeze out there as well. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar, show you what we have throughout the area. Again, a lack of clouds. They have moved on to the uh, northeast portion into the Rocky Mountains. We're clear where we are here in the desert southwest, jumping ahead and taking a look at our future cast to where some of the areas across the United States are are seeing a little rain, and that would be the Rocky Mountains, also the southeast, seeing some heavy showers. And as we expand the satellite radar, you can see that's exactly what's happening today. Back down here in the desert southwest, let's talk about our winds. Throughout the most part, double digits. Yuma, a very comfortable, easy, breezy day at 3 miles per hour. YPG 17, Blythe is at 18, Imperial at 10, and El Centro at 15. But that's all about to change as we get into tonight. Winds will start to pick up in the double digits. Some gusty winds, that's the green you see right there. Anywhere between 20 and 25 miles per hour into tomorrow morning. Then in the afternoon, things will settle down yet again. A very, very nice day on hand for us tomorrow, which is also St. Patrick's Day. So make sure you're out there and behaving, even though you're going to have some very, very good weather to be out there and, and kick up your heels a little bit. Our air quality index brought to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Good all the way through the Imperial Valley. Moderate still in Mexicali. Look at our temperatures. We'll stay in Imperial County. 85 in Calipatria, 87 in Imperial, 88 in El Centro, 89 in Nacatillo, and across the county and state line into Yuma County, Arizona. We're holding at 85 in Yuma, 87 in the foothills, 85 in Summerton, 87 in San Luis. A wider view of our temperatures throughout the west shows again 85 in Yuma, 65 in San Diego, 85 in Palm Springs, and 75 degrees in Las Vegas. Our viewer photo of the day comes in from Anthony Blome, who sent this one in, a fantastic photo. Thank you so much, Anthony, for sending this one in. Winter sunset in Yuma, a gorgeous photo. Look at all the amazing colors that he has in there. We've got the blues, the purples, the indigos, the pinks, and all the way deep, you see the yellows, the golds, and the oranges. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you so much, Anthony. If you've got a photo you want to share, you can scan that QR code. It'll take you right to the weather photo gallery. From there, upload your photo, include your name, maybe a slight description, or you can find me on social media. Even drop it off on our homepage at kyma.com slash share. That's what Anthony was able to do. Here's your future cast, or make that your metro cast. We already looked at our future cast. 82 still around 7 o'clock tonight. Midnight still quite warm. We'll be at 71 degrees. And as you get up tomorrow for St. Patrick's Day, 64 and clear. We'll have a high tomorrow of around 86 degrees. Very nice day on Friday. Clouds will move in. Our temperatures will dip on the first day of spring, which will be on Sunday. Gusty winds return. And so do the 90s, 92 by Wednesday. Same can be said for the Imperial Valley. A gorgeous day tomorrow and Friday. We work our way into the weekend with those clouds coming in. A 30% chance of maybe some light rain Saturday night into Sunday morning. But again, those temperatures will dip just a little bit underneath our average of 80. And then we'll warm back up all the way to 92 by next Wednesday.